my lord. Well, what on earth have you got there, Sellers? Well, the champagne his lordship ordered, my lady. Oh, thank you, Sellers. Open it up, will you? When did you order champagne? When did I order it, Sellers? Earlier this evening, my lord. Why? Oh, I thought we might need it. Have we anything to celebrate? I thought we might get thirsty. I got it from the grocer's. I hope it's all right. On my bill, I suppose. I'll pay you back. You just got it to be friendly, didn't you? You have a wonderful gift for choosing the right word. Lady? Oh, thank you, Sellers. Thank you, Sellers. Have a glass yourself. Oh, no, thank you, my lord, no. Well, I, I've served his lordship's cold bottle. I'm just going to attend to his hot one, my lady. You're not cross with me, are you? Oh, no, I'm not cross. I just think you should see a doctor. But I'm going to see a doctor. No, not him. I mean a specialist. A brain specialist for mental disorders. Do you realize that you might have been killed? Or disabled for life? Or put into prison for manslaughter? You should be flattered. I wish so much for you. Now, where are you going? I want to put something about that. Well, I can get it for you. I want to tell you something else. Thought you were an intelligent, civilized person and you behaved like a barbarian. I'd better get some more champagne. This is beginning to hurt. Are you all right, do you think? Yes, thank you. Well, you get your champagne and let me get you into bed. Well, despite the fact I'm your husband, under the present circumstances, I find that a most improper suggestion. <clears throat> you may have talked a lot of sense this evening, but there's been an awful lot of hot air too, you know. Incidentally, do you think I like growing mushrooms? Do you think I like living in a few rooms of an enormous damp mansion? And you know you're wrong about the international set. I'm sure I'd adore them. I've always simply longed to meet them. And I could water ski an aqualung instead of that well-known British pastime of making both ends meet. It would be wonderful for the children too, wouldn't it? Surely you must see it's very tempting. Oh, yes, indeed. The grass is always greener on the other side of the hedge. You ought to think it over very carefully. Oh, I have. Perhaps I still am. Well, if that's what you want, I'd better think again. What I cannot understand is why you had to fight a duel. To make my role of complacent husband a little less ignoble, I think is the word. And to remind you that I'm very fond of you. I didn't want to write you a letter or send you roses. I thought a duel would be just the ticket. Just the ticket? Where to? A crematorium? No, no, a cloakroom. Oh, shut up. And you haven't told me where it is. Where what is? And what would have happened if you'd killed Charles? What do you think I'd have done? I'm a very reliable shot, even with a revolver. Yes, but what did it prove? Obviously, nothing as yet. So I can only suggest that we declare a sort of moratorium. How do you mean? An armistice, an intermission, call it what you like. Whatever you do, you do. If you decide to go off with him, I'll just have to wait here until you get back. You mean you'd be willing to do that? Yes. For how long? Just as long as it takes. Aha, uh -huh, I see. And wash that man right out of my hair. Is that the idea? Mm -hmm. I think the next line was, and send him on his way. Which I sincerely hope you'll do, the bloody tourist. Let him do a sightseeing somewhere else. You mean you'd really be prepared to loan me to another man in order to get him out of my system? And what other choice have I? Shocking as it may seem, I think it's the safest route. To back where we were? To back where we were. You must love me very much. Love and like and value. So you don't want to take me back now? No, not under these circumstances. You're much too pretty to have as a housekeeper. But what are you going to do all the time I'm away? I shall cross the days off the calendar. I hope that you're having bad weather and that Charles is getting on your nerves. Now that's not very kind. Mm, I feel jealous, indignant and unhappy, but certainly not kind. But there it is. Marriage isn't like a tray of hors d'oeuvre. You can't just pick what you fancy. You've got to take the lot or nothing. Well, it's settled then. I'm sorry you were wounded. Is it very painful? Yes, it is a bit. No. If that story is supposed to illustrate what I think are your intentions, I must warn you, I'm in no mood to be soaked in disinfectant. Well, I guess I just pick my face up out of the gravel and leave by that door through which I came. I'm so sorry, Charles. So deeply sorry. But when I saw Victor in this wounded state, I suddenly realized, no, not realized, remembered, how very much I love him. And I'd forgotten it for a whole week. You should write it down on your shopping list. And I'm afraid I don't want to leave him. Not for three months or three days or even three hours. There it is. Well, 
And you were right, weren't you? And you proved your point. About what? About dueling and the divorce rate. You couldn't very well leave a husband who'd fought and been wounded for you, could you? No. I knew it. Oh, Victor, darling, you feeling all right now? No. Where did you get that coat? Somebody gave it to me. What for? Just answer me that. What for? Well, to keep me warm, I suppose. Who gave it to you? I've been dying to show it to you. You're not jealous, are you, darling? Do you know that for just one split second I was? I really was. I can't blame you. Isn't the color dreamy? Take it off. You, you want to try it on? I have tried it on. Take it off. Oh, look uh, out of my arm. Uh, but, but, but really, darling, I can't. I haven't got much on underneath. I couldn't care less. Take it I off. Let you try it on in the morning. Take it off. Really, darling, I can't. I am going to count. <gasps> Three. One. Two. Oh, how do I shoot? No, 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 no. Oh, this way. Yes. Oh, yes, that's right. Now then, for the last time, take it off. I suppose this is what's called being frightened out of one's skins. <laughs> Dearest Charles, it's the most lovely coat I've ever seen, but I'm afraid I must give it back to you. <laughs>